All right, guys, we are now on station 11. This video is for station 11. I know there was some confusion. The confusion was, what was the question? Okay, so on your handout, it says verify if the graphs are inverses of each other. You have six graphs. And then on your handout, you actually also have the, the, um, the graphs as well. So let's look at the graphs. If I want to determine whether they are inverses of each other, all we need to do is see if there's an imaginary line going through the middle that makes the images look the same or identical on both sides. Okay, this little dotted line would be that line y equals to x. If a function is an inverse of the other, what you're going to do is you're going to take your x and y values and you're going to flip them so that they fit exactly on the other side. Okay, we're going to try our best to solve some of these. So let's look at number one. If I were to split it down the middle, does the top part look like the bottom part? Okay. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can so that you guys can see the points. <clears throat> this is number one. So that inverse line is a line y equals to x. So it's saying that you're going to take all of your values and you're going to flip them over to this side. Does the top look like the bottom? Most likely, you guys are saying no, but we can check our answers by getting two points and seeing if they're actually on the same graph, okay? So let's look here. We have negative 1, 1, and negative 3, 0. If I get the inverse of this function, that means I'm going to switch the x and y in order to find the inverse. So I'm going to take these values, I'm going to have 1, negative 1, and 0, negative 3. At least that's what I should have if those are truly inverses of each other. So I go 1, negative 1, and 0, negative 3. Does this look like those points right there? They do not. If the graph had been on this side, then the red graph and the black graph would be inverses of each other. Okay, so number one, the correct answer is no. Let's look at <clears throat> station number two. When you look at station number two, according to your handout, it looks like this. This is the original function, the blue one. You have a line cutting it down the middle, and the inverse is this red dashed line. So, does this side look like that side? if you were to fold a piece of paper over. The correct answer is yes. Some of you guys may not be able to see it, so let's try with actual points. This point is negative one, one, zero, zero, and one, one. If I find the inverse of this function, that means I'm going to flip my table, switch my x and y values. So that means I should have 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. If I plot those points on my graph, I should have 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. These points actually fall exactly on this red point, this red um, graph. So the correct answer for this one is yes. Okay, let's go to the back. Look at number 3. Number three looks like this. You're going to split it down the middle. Does the top look like the bottom? And the correct answer is, what do you say? The correct answer is no. Okay, let's look at number four. If you were, whoopsies, I just gave you all the answers. If I looked at number four, and I have this dashed line here. Does the blue graph look like the red graph? And the answer is yes. They are inverses of each other. They'll look at example five. Example five is probably the best example because you can see the ordered pairs pretty well. <clears throat> okay, so if you look here, 110 should be 10, 1. 
negative 1, 3 should be 3, negative 1. Negative 3, 2, when you flip it over, should be 2, negative 3. Negative 5, 1 should be 1, negative 5. And negative 7, 6 should be negative 6, negative 7. These graphs are inverses of each other. The correct answer for number 5 is yes. If I were to draw a dashed line down the center of this, this side looks just like the other side if I were to fold the paper in half. Okay, let's go to the last question. Number, um, I guess, six and seven. Well, you can tell here that it is. And then the last one, do they look the same on the top and the bottom? The correct answer is no. This concludes station 11.